Today we are excited to present to you a collection of the newest and hottest Skyrim mods that have been added to the game. These mods bring fresh and innovative features to enhance your Skyrim experience like never before. From immersive visuals to immersive gameplay mechanics, each mod offers something unique and exciting. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore these amazing additions to the world of Skyrim. The first mod we'd like to introduce to you is Sposs's new Wisp Mother Replacer. New Wisp Mother, like Sposs's previous creature replacers, transforms the Wisp Mother into a more humanoid female form. You have the option to choose between a version with exposed breasts and a version with covered clothing, as well as the choice between 2K and 4K textures. For players who have been wanting to change the appearance of the vanilla Wisp Mother, this mod offers a great opportunity to do so. Next up is Arja's Outfit Combination Corner. For today's main outfit, we have the popular Fleet Knight set as the foundation. This outfit is already perfect on its own, capturing the essence of a knight without the need for additional combinations. However, since this is a combination corner, I've taken the liberty to customize it further. I've adorned the Fleet Knight set's armor, boots, and shoulder guards. With just these three pieces, it achieves a remarkably fitting look. To add some variety, I've incorporated the gauntlets and back shield from the Dominion armor, blending seamlessly with the ensemble. For those who feel the abdomen area lacks detail, the Bikini Armor Node Plate 3 can be added to give it a touch of chainmail texture. To enhance the visual appeal from behind, I've chosen to complement the outfit with the H2135-9 series black and red cape, lending a graceful flow to the ensemble. Staying true to the knight concept, a tied wig style appears fitting, and I've opted for a blonde color to complete the look. If you're not fond of the bodysuit in this outfit, or if you want to expose the lower body of your character more, another option is to wear the Fleet Knight Armor S, along with the Bikini Hide Shorts one and Bikini Hide Leather Waist Armor. This combination works well as they share a similar brown color scheme, creating a cohesive look. It can add a more adventurous vibe to your character. In this session, I will introduce two female-oriented animation mods created by Xtudo. Firstly, we have the Subtle Feminine Carriage Sitting Animation. It offers a collection of five animations, one for getting on the carriage, three randomized sitting animations, and one for getting off the carriage. These animations provide a subtle and feminine touch. You can choose between DAR and OAR versions, so please install only one. Additionally, there is an optional both genders version available, which includes the new animations alongside the vanilla version ensuring that no content is lost. Secondly, we have the Subtle Feminine Mount Sprint Animation. This mod introduces a new sprint animation specifically designed for female characters. It offers a subtle and feminine version, aiming to differentiate the Mount Sprint animations between male and female characters and bring more variation to the game. The animation is based on real-life Mount Sprint movement, adding a touch of realism. You can choose between the DAR and OAR versions, so please install only one. It's worth noting that this mod does not require an ESP file. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the Dynamic Sprint mod. Dynamic Sprint enhances your sprinting experience by adding a pre-sprint animation that triggers when you start sprinting. It goes the extra mile by providing unique sprint animations tailored to different weapon types, including one-handed swords, claws from the new armory mod, and even quarterstaffs. What sets this mod apart is its seamless transition from the initial sprinting motion to a full sprint after a quick dash. This pre-sprint dash animation adds a touch of familiarity, evoking memories of popular action games. But that's not all. During installation, you'll have the option to increase the sprint speed, allowing you to tailor the mod to your preferred pace. It's truly a remarkable addition that elevates the immersive aspects of Skyrim's gameplay. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the Lost Nernroot mod. The Lost Nernroot mod aims to enhance your looting experience in Skyrim by replacing the default pickup sound of Nernroot with a more immersive and modern RPG-inspired sound effect. As you venture through the world of Skyrim and come across the valuable Nernroot plants, you'll be greeted with a sound that aligns with the atmosphere and aesthetics of contemporary RPG games. In this segment, I will introduce you to a few Paywell moveset mods. 
First and foremost, let's talk about Anchor A's MCO Yamato Moveset Version 2. This moveset offers a stunning array of modifications to the effects and animations, surpassing the original Yamato moveset. When wielding the Yamato weapon, you'll have access to a diverse range of combo moves and captivating attacks accompanied by mesmerizing effects. Notably, this mod even allows you to transform into Vindictus's Dark Knight, granting you the ability to unleash a unique set of techniques. The transformation also brings along powerful buff effects that enhance your combat prowess. The versatility and depth of this mod make it an enticing choice for those seeking a truly dynamic gameplay experience. However, it's important to mention that this mod is part of Paywell, which means it may require a financial contribution. As you consider your options, please be mindful of your support and choose accordingly. The second mod I'd like to present is MCO Mirage Edge Reanimated. Similar to the previous mod, this moveset is a reanimation of YRM's MCO Mirage Edge. What sets it apart is its integration with the Yamato weapon. When wearing both the Chaos Yamato weapon and Mirage Edge, this moveset comes to life. It offers a stylish and dynamic combat experience, especially when in true directional movements lock-on state. By combining the upward and downward movement keys with the power attack key, you can perform an X-shaped sword attack. In this state, if you press the power attack key again, you will start charging up your sword strike. As you charge up to three levels, you'll unleash a powerful sword attack. This moveset supports basic movements such as walking, running, and sprinting, and it also includes exclusive dodging animations when used with the DMCO mod. It provides a wide range of animation changes for the player, this moveset not only looks visually impressive, but also offers a significant boost in damage output. However, due to its potency, it's important to consider balance adjustments to ensure a fair gameplay experience. With MCO Mirage Edge reanimated, you'll have the opportunity to showcase your mastery of combat and deliver a truly impactful performance on the battlefield. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the must-have new Skyrim mods, outfit combinations, and new Patreon movesets. We hope that these recommendations have sparked your interest and inspired you to enhance your Skyrim experience. Remember, modding allows for endless possibilities and customization, enabling you to create the immersive and personalized world you've always envisioned. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications to support the growth of our channel. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue bringing you exciting Skyrim content. We look forward to seeing you next time with more thrilling adventures in the world of Skyrim. Until then, may you have an enjoyable and immersive Skyrim experience.